Kathy Hilton is new to hosting girls' trips for RHOBH. However, from wine tasting to celebrity chefs, Kathy's Del Mar trip was an absolute success. Kathy Hilton thrived as the hostess of her first girls' trip on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Kathy noted earlier in the season that she has been on many trips with her husband and family, but girls' trips were pretty foreign to her. That is, until the Lake Tahoe adventure on RHOBH. After winning over her castmates on the trip, Kathy seemed like a natural amongst the women. Kathy's hilarious antics and ignorance of RHOBH drama aid her success among both fans and her co-stars. After Lake Tahoe, Kathy was ready to host her own trip. Following the butler service dinner at her home, the expectations were high. Kathy made it clear that while she was excited about the vacation, she didn't want any drama plating it. Erica Jane and Sutton Strack got into some very heated conversation at Kathy's dinner party. Sutton confronted Erica repeatedly about inconsistencies in her story when it came to her ex-husband's lawsuits. Erica did not take too kindly to this. When Erica seemed to be on the verge of blowing a gasket, Kathy told her to calm down. When the first night of Kathy's planned trip to Del Mar rolled around, Kathy felt anxious about the tension among the group. She advocated that the women find a way to put aside their differences and enjoy themselves. Kathy split an impressive presidential suite at the La Burge Del Mar Resort with her little sister Kyle Richards. While the two were once on poor terms, Kyle has made it clear she's thrilled to be reunited with her eldest sister. She was also not mad about staying in luxury accommodations with her. In many ways, Kathy has surprisingly become the de facto leader and alpha of RHOBA this season. Kathy makes an effort to stay in her lane while cracking some jokes, which the housewives admire. For the women's final night, Kathy hired celebrity chef Brian Markey to cater their evening's boat trip. The ladies boarded a gorgeous pirate ship at sunset. Then Kathy convinced Erica and Sutton to find a shaky truce. The two chatted briefly and both apologized for their behavior while walking on the dock. Erica said, I'm not going to ruin everyone else's trip because I hate Sutton. When the group asked about it, Erica said, it's not going to get fixed overnight, and it doesn't have to. Later, Sutton even had a sweet embrace with Crystal Kung Minkoff after their tension early in the season. The mood among the women finally lightened. During a game of Never Have I Ever, Sutton and Erica discovered they had more in common than they thought after admitting to some lewd sex acts. Kathy even admitted to joining the Mile High Club. She said, I'm no freak. I'm adventurous with a sly smile. There wasn't much missing from the trip. It included accommodations Greek goddesses would envy and an array of activities, including wine tasting and floating yoga. Overall, Kathy can count herself as a success when leading girls' trips. Kathy even managed to create peace between everyone, if only until the RHOBH reunion. Kathy said to Sutton, So it must have felt good to have that little chat. Get that monkey off your back. Kathy also didn't hesitate to set boundaries and take a break from the group for naps and massages. If Bravo execs, RHOBH fans, or the cast have anything to say about it, Kathy will be welcome on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for years to come.